Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean. Today's date is September 26, 2022. New, this is a new YouTube channel for me. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share. Episode 413. No midterm elections in the U.S. Get cash. So some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, a recent interview by David Nino Rodriguez with Kerry Cassidy, Judy Byington, Real Raw News, Jacob Dreesen, Benjamin Fulford, and others. So let's get started. Okay. So midterm elections in the U.S. I'll explain what this means. Typically in the middle of a, a current uh, president's term, uh, after two years of the president in office, then come the midterms. And in this election, this will be uh, November of 2022. And what is elected is all 435 members of the House of Representatives. Now, for the federal government in the U.S., we have Congress, and that's made up of the House and the Senate. So the House has 435 members, and Senate has 100. So in these midterm elections, it's all of the House, and it's one-third of the Senate that will be elected, about 33 to 34, plus a lot of state governors and other positions will be elected. Now this year, uh, we have things going on, lots of chatter, no midterm elections. And uh, we have serious economic indicators going on that this, there could be some validity to this. Now, we have uh, uh, Jacob Dreesen, a former Army military analyst, saying that, you know, uh, he recommend for the state governors that they have private security. Because we know a lot of, we have a deep state uh, shadow government currently operating in the U.S. So, yeah, that's going on. So, Jacob recommends if you're running for office, you need to be careful. Now, we have Real Raw News. This is a outlet for the U.S. military. So we have information from Real Raw News under Marine General David Berger saying that the U.S. military is ready to use the emergency uh, alert system that's the new name for the emergency broadcast system. Now, this emergency broadcast system was captured by the U.S. military who are operating under the Insurrection Act signed by President Trump before January of 2021. So the U.S. military is technically in control in the U.S. In about January of 2022, the U.S. military went in with Delta and Ranger forces. That was to Mount Weather, located close to Washington, D.C., and this was the location of the emergency broadcast system that was under FEMA guards. The Delta and Rangers took out about 12 of the FEMA guards and then took over Mount Weather, which was integral to the ongoing uh, change that we anticipate seeing in the United States in the, 
very near future in our government. And also the implementation of Project Odin, a satellite system designed to replace the mainstream media. So we would have the emergency system uh, coordinated with the Odin system operating on a global, not, not just in the United States, this would be on, on a global basis because what's uh, s setting up is a global change uh, in a lot of in governments across, across the world. Okay, so we have this. Now we have the Judy Byington. We have, who has three sources, no midterms. We had a recent uh, interview by David Nino Rodriguez of Kerry Cassidy, who also had a source, no um, midterms. We just had some information come out from Phil G, who regularly gets information from the uh, publicizing group or, uh, from President Trump. So his, his group around him. And then, you know, of course, he's uh, in contact with global leaders. And then the information flows from his group out to different uh, individuals who put the information out publicly. So yeah, Phil G is just coming out with, uh, yeah, October looks good uh, for us uh, having our elected president inaugurated. All right. Now we have this. We also have uh, a lot of sources for no midterms. But I think a real clincher for us should be what is the current state of the economy in the U.S. And we had billions of dollars of orders just canceled recently by Walmart, Amazon, Target, Kohl's, Under Armour, FedEx. I mean, uh, coupling uh, billions of dollars of orders canceled in August by these major retailers just before the holiday season and then we had sources last year who said this is going to be our last Christmas and we have major layoffs to come uh, and uh, Mike from around the world is regularly on Pastor Paul Bagley's uh, uh, Thursday night show had also talked about uh, Walmart closing uh, like almost half of its locations within the next six months. I had a Patriot subscriber recently who said Walmart's already closed 60 locations in the U.S. and Walmart. When I was young and going to college, I was shown the tunnels underneath Walmart. I was told the purpose was to implement martial law inside the U.S., but now we know about trafficking. And we know that the family who built the Walmarts also built the uh, Japanese internment camps in World War II. So that's going on. And uh, so these economic uh, indicators are very real that the U.S. economy is going completely down because during the holiday season is when these retail stores and much of the um, government, state, and federal, you know, for uh, taxes they make on purchases. And the retail stores run off all year on what they make during the holiday season. But we see now they're canceling their orders. And a majority of them are saying we want to uh, get rid of our excess inventory, indicating there aren't going to be consumers for those products. So, that's very real. Now, Benjamin Fulford recently was interviewed by Mel Kay. And Benjamin Fulford is a Canadian journalist who currently lives in Japan and has a lot of contacts on a global basis. 
says, yeah, he's ready to join the White Hats if needed in Idaho. And we understand that Idaho is being put forward as a new capital uh, un under our new government that's coming very soon. So, uh, no, it looks like uh, there's a lot to be said for uh, no midterms. In November, and a major change in our government, our elected president being put in in October. Also, there's a lot of chatter about the banks and recommendations to, you know, uh, get some cash, have some cash on hand, food and water uh, in the event that we have a, a temporary shutdown, and we know that that had been given to us by the U.S. military in the event that the emergency alert system or emergency broadcast system is put in place. So, this is the end of my special report regarding this topic. I love you, and I'll see you soon, and we definitely need to be in prayer.